What's up guys, Sinus Taka here for a brand new video. I haven't done a video since coming back from Vegas. I need some time to recover. A lot of drinking going on, but I did we even went out, went out drinking too with my buddy Pierre that weekend too after coming back here. So I record it, but yeah. But now taking a little few, you know, a few days off or more from doing a video, but now back at it doing a video. Whenever I'm here by the mall right now. now. I'm in the area over here at Parkway Plaza. I've been here for like maybe a couple of months or so. It's just going there, see what's going on, see what kind of uh, if they have any like early Black Friday sales going on, going on at FYE, I'm not sure. Hopefully they do have some pretty cool stuff, I don't know. And there's a Walmart here too, see what's going on over there, because I haven't really checked anything out. So there's a lot of stuff going on sale, so maybe I'll pick something up if they have a good deal. And there's also a Best Buy next door too, so let's we'll kind of check it out and kind of do whatever else around town. Also, and also what I was in this video, I have a cool brand new quick little beer review video, so look out for that towards this video. A little quick beer review video from Stone Brewery, look out for that. Let's go in the mall, let's see what's going on. They got some Christmas stuff stuff, and they also have the classic Hickory Farm sausage area. I think that's what this is, yeah, Hickory Farm sausage. Making sure I always love some me some Hickory Farm sauces and cheese. You guys fans of that stuff? I know I am, but now, let's go this way to FYE. What the heck is this thing? It's like, these like little creatures in there. But anyway, um, FYE is right over there. And hope I can record inside there. If not, there'll be voiceover, but we'll, let's go see. If they have anything in any, any early sales, I don't know. Right in here now, there's no music playing, so I can actually record for the time being in here for a little bit without voiceover. And just like the little candy stuff. Let's go buy, um, let have some of the cereals, some burritos, and some garbage pill kids cereal, and some other cereals too. But let's go this way towards the flicks. Now, so now I have to use voiceover because they're playing copyright music here, brother. Check out the uh, steel books. I got the 699 for Annabelle. That's not a bad deal. I think I bought one of those before months ago. There's like a bunch of other type horror stuff. Here's like some new releases things. So we got here the new Candyman like remake for $29.99. I think it was like $24. A little sale price stick, uh, sticker on it uh, below there I saw. And some other kind of things up here. Nothing too crazy. Like the movie Old, used copy. I still have to watch this. So I'm kind of curious about this one. I think it's all right probably. Here's like a little horror section with some like horror playing cards like Chucky, which has kind of cool hammer playing cards. Look at this hot chocolate. Krampus style hot chocolate. I might have to get some of that sometime. And you get some Krampus hot sauce and some other kinds of different gift horror item goodness. And check out this creep show graphic novel based off the movie. That's kind of neat looking right there. So any creep show fans out there, you might like that. And look at this Krampus on the mantle piece. Maybe I have to get this. I've not I didn't see this last year. This is kind of cool. It's upon a shelf. A cramp. It's almost like a, uh, like a, like they call it, elf on a shelf. Because yeah, but you have a Krampus on the shelf. Here's a Shout Factory section. And you got all these different Shout Factory titles. Uh, House of Wax, uh, The Fly, a bunch of other ones up here. The Mouth of Madness. So that's kind of neat. Which was have the slip cases, those sleep sleepaway camps, but they don't. But just checking these out. And here's like the other horror movie section. All the all the regular horror movie stuff at. A lot of stuff's kind of overpriced here. But they get this for sixty bucks. Get the Friday Thirteenth collection. That's probably not too bad. I don't think. But if you can, if you if you don't have that, it's probably not too bad. And some other like steel books of that nature. And I saw one of these. You look at this uh, random Roger Corman humanoids from the deep DVD. I have a whole bunch of these things. Probably like fifteen of these Roger Corman sets. They're great. Great movie too. Really fantastic one. And see what else they have over here. Nothing too much eye in my eye. But they have the uh, Maniac. Up here, 4K, but for fifty dollars, wow, that that is uh, pretty pricey for fifty bucks. Great movie, but damn, FYE prices. And here's the holiday movie section. Let's see what they have over here. Um, look at this, pretty cool for ten dollars. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Steelbook. That's actually a really good deal. Regular twenty four ninety nine. They have it here for, and but for ten bucks, and it has the Blu-rays of it. And regular Blu-rays and DVDs of it are like eight dollars. Get the Steelbook Blu-ray for ten bucks. So I might have to get that. I'm, I'm going to think about that. That is, I don't want to own that. So um, you know what? I know it's played a lot of AMC throughout the whole time of Christmas time. But you know what? It'd be cool to have it. Listen to the commentary. So if you want to get this, I have a slew of these over here. And of course, you have the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And look at this little collection set up here. Home Alone, Christmas Carol, Jingle All the Way, and Miracle on 34th Street for $10. $9.99 to get all these movies here on DVD. That's not bad. I don't own Jingle All the Way. Or um, the Christmas Carol with George C. Scott. That's a great one. So I might get that. I'm going to think about it. That's actually pretty cool.
All right, so it's left with FYE. I got to uh, get a couple things in there. I like one of which I was like, I got to gather one of my, I was like, what the hell, let's get it. I'll show you at the end what I got. I'm gonna go to Walmart right now. All right, here we go at the mall, Walmart. Of course, we got the Wessels presses at the mall. Let's go in there, check out the movie stuff, see if they anything cool on like one of these deals. It's called Sloppy Dogs, I don't know what that is, but let's go in here now and uh, see what they got going on. Here's like a little, the Christmas holiday section. Also, I have FYE for the still book at the same price. They have this same set over there too. At least five, I have no idea. There might be a little bit more. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, it's pretty cool. These little different slips of them. That's kind of cool. Frosted Snowman, yes. Deluxe Edition, down with that. And then the classics, you can have those. Those are a must every year. Crazy, it's gonna be Thanksgiving in like one week. Like, wow, it doesn't even seem like it. So I gotta get my turkey and stuff like that later on. You know, some of the movie stuff. See what they got going on. Kind of like whatever up here, but I'm just checking it out. And then everything else is like behind this little glass case, which is kind of a pain because you get to like ask for help, and that kind of sucks because you never get the best help here at Walmart. But I'm just checking it out now. That's pretty much it. And then let's uh, let's skedaddle out of here. All right, let's go check out Best Buy real quick. And uh, I don't know, see if any of those early. Black Friday deals going on. I mean, I know it had some stuff, but I don't know if it's still going on now. I don't know if it's since, since it's like uh, Wednesday. I don't know if it's still having it for the rest of the week. But let's go check out some of these Black Friday deals firsthand and see what's going on. All right, we are inside the uh, the Black Friday deals for the 4Ks. It's kind of the same stuff I've seen. I think some of it like last year, a few of these titles, stuff for of course Saw and that kind of thing. So I get Saw and Rated right up here for like uh, 10 bucks. Spiral Saw. These ones are $8. Black Friday 4K deals and some Blu-rays mixed up in there too. It's just some okay stuff. Um, yeah, not, not too bad. And pretty much all the movies they've seen right there and the Black Friday ones, look at all these TVs lined up right now. Like, <laughs> if you go against them, like, they'll fall over like dominoes. Look at all these TVs, like, I guess, yeah, look at this, man. You know, like a bunch of like microwaves and crock pots and stuff. It's like, yeah, tons of TVs stacked up, man. Just, they fell over, oh man, that would not be good. That would not be good. I'm gonna look, I'm look around the store though, see if they, see if they have any other little like uh, little end caps of like movies and stuff, other things going on here. So I'm not totally sure. All I think I seen was just those. And it's like oh, it's like a whole labyrinth of TVs all up this there. Like this, which as you expect, these are like this is like the most TVs I've seen in a long time at a Best Buy. Holy moly, man! Look at them all. There's line up everywhere, bro. All right, so I just left that Best Buy. Not much movie wise in there, like for Black Friday sales I've seen. It's like kind of like whatever kind of stuff like okay stuff nothing i really need to get right now but it's weird like it's the second year ago they're doing like these early black friday things it's kind of strange because like you know, it's just kind of like little things that pop up and when black friday actually hits it's kind of like almost like whatever but if you want to get tvs this is the one to go to here in el cajon if you're looking for lots of tvs they have a ton of tvs here so as you see like tons of them so now off to the next spot all right, next spot I'm going to is Creative Creature Brewing here in El Cajon. They have this cool high C ecto cooler type beer. Look at this thing. Oh, I had to get this. Oh yeah. Here's the Hecto Cooler, no, inspired by Ecto Cooler, high C Ecto Cooler. Over here at Creative Creature Brewing, you know. I'm supposed to wait here with my buddy uh, uh, OGP to come here. He's gonna come here, I think, tomorrow and watch Ghostbusters. There's a sneak little thing right there. I was like, I was in the area and I was like, gonna see if they have it on tap and they do. So I gotta try this out. I'll, I'll probably have this again back to back days, but look at that green in that thing, dude. It's an Imperial Sour Ale. Let's go try this out. And it's supposed to taste sort of like uh, a high C ecto cooler with like a tangerine notes, sours, and things like that. So let's just let's, let's, uh, dig in and uh, try it out. Inspired by the new Ghostbusters coming out. And of course, Ghostbusters is cool. So let's uh, do this. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sour, but good. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Just left Creative Creature, had the uh, Hecto Cooler, really, really good. Let's get back to um, to my pad. All right, guys, I am back home now. You might hear some construction noise outside. They're doing like a bunch of construction in my area, but check this out. Check this out. I know it's. November 15th or so. Look, I got my Christmas tree up, dude. The fish is gonna check. He's checking it out, he's checking it out, he's checking it out. Let's go, um, yeah, that's actually not, it's like, put the lights on, but I didn't put the lights on, but yeah. There we go. There is my tree. Of course, we're gonna have some Halloween goodness with it too. But yeah, so we did that. 
up there. So it's starting to look like a little bit like Christmas here. Merry Christmas and all that stuff. So I'm getting started. And I got this. We have this. We got my bag. I'm gonna show you right now what I picked up at FYE. Let's go, let's go see what I get. Let's go see what I get. First off, I got this, just for the hell of it. I got this for 10 bucks. Home Alone, uh, Christmas, Christmas Carol, Jingle All the Way, and Miracle on 34th Street, 10 bucks. Might as well get that. What the heck, can't go on with Home Alone. You know, you already have that, but you know, I'll pretty much get it for a Christmas Carol, the George C. Scott one, and Jingle All the Way, you know, which is great, because I got Jingle All the Way. I got, let's look at that. I got my Turbo Man there also as part of my decor, the Turbo Man. So I don't have, I don't have, own that Jingle All the Way, so I figured 10 bucks. Got that. Uh, I got another one up here. I had to get this only $10 for a steel book. And that is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Remember, $24? Even being used on eBay, this thing goes for like at least 14 bucks and more. So if you know, 10 bucks, FYS, yes, that's actually a great deal. So I got that. I know it's going to be played a lot at AMC, you know, on, uh, on television, stuff like that. But you know what? To get it on Blu ray, a nice crisp version instead of the TV version. This will be nice, and plus it's a pretty cool steel book. And plus some of these things I just kind of put on display. Have them on my little movie shelf things, and I'll go over there. So I kind of have these out with some other Christmas. So I got my horror VHSs and stuff. I got my other, other stuff over there too. So I'll put these out on display too, because they look kind of cool. But oh, 20 bucks for those two? Not a bad deal. Not and then right now, let's go with a quick little beer review. Right now, I'm gonna get the beer, and it's perfect this time of year. That is this one by Stone Brewery here in San Diego. The Axo Cavesa, Axo Cavesa Tres Leches, Imperial Stout inspired by Mexican hot chocolate and uh, Tres Leches. Tres Leches, you know, cake and that kind of stuff. Inspired by that, it says 8.5% alcohol by volume. This is a tasty beer. I already had one already. I get the sent out to me when I was in Vegas to, to try out for review. And I had this when I got back and it tastes really good. If you're a fan of stouts and Mexican hot chocolate, this one is definitely for you. Oh, it's so good. Like, if you're a fan of stouts, and it's a great, you know, it's winter season, stouts, this is the perfect time of year. This has great notes and like a Mexican hot chocolate, a little bit of van vanilla, a little bit of pepper in there. Not like hot, but a little bit of that peppery flavoring in there throughout. Smells great, a little vanilla too. Great for this time of year. So link down below if you want to get it yourself some cans of this. Even though, check out the link down below, stonebrew.com. I'll put it down below for you guys in the description box. You guys can look up this by its name and see if they have it in your area because they ship these all throughout the country. I believe this, they believe they will with this. It's from here in San Diego. But it's one of the biggest you know, indie craft brewery companies in the country is Stone. Great stuff, great products. I always put out great, awesome beer. And thanks again so much for sending this out to me to try out and review. Appreciate it. You guys are, you guys rock. And yeah, this is a great one, especially for this time of year. Perfect to have. That pretty much just does it for this video. A quick little video kind of going around town, checking out some movie stuff and things like that, of that nature. And that was really cool, trying out the Hecto Cooler over at Creative Creature. And then for you guys, nice little beer review also of this. A little bonus beer review. The sudden death of Young Dolph. I was like, I was like, unbelievable. So uh, cheers out to you, Young Dolph. Always just like your music. Um, I would like getting inspiration from it to kind of grind more. I'll put your music on, it gets me that motivated grind mood and just uh still will but it's just the man dude he was at the bakery getting cookies i believe for his mom and get you know shot down today just unbelievable um horrible stuff drinks out to you and uh, may you rest in peace and um yeah i'm listening to your music all day i'm, listening, I'm popping i'm gonna pop on his music all day and throughout the week too probably always did anyway but uh, definitely today for sure but anyways if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and look out for the next video coming up and do a video with OGP, probably Fluffy Gamer 2 in it. We're going to be checking out Ghostbusters Afterlife and some things out the day of that also. So look out for that in the next video. I'll see you then and catch you later. Bye.